are a familiar sight. Wherever we live, their gay songs and flashing colors are a part of the animal life around us. For birds are animals, animals with feathers. Birds differ in many ways. Some, like these ducks, travel great distances each year. They leave their homes at summer's end, when the weather turns cold, and fly to warmer regions. They return again in the spring to lay their eggs and raise their families. We say that these birds migrate or travel, and so they are called migratory birds. Others, like these blackbirds, are with us summer and winter. Since they reside or live in one general place throughout the year, they are called resident birds. Birds differ in still other ways. This emu, a native of Australia, has practically no wings at all and cannot fly. These penguins have small wings, but use them only for paddles. Birds like this hawk have large wings, which they use skillfully in flying. But one of the most interesting ways in which birds differ is in the shape of their bills. The shape of a bird's bill will tell you a great deal about the bird's life and habits. This hawk has a sharp, hooked bill. He uses it for tearing the meat of whatever animal he is strong enough and fast enough to catch. The hooked bill is the bill of the bird of prey, the bill of birds like the hawk and the owl. Each year these birds kill and eat millions of mice and other small animals, so hawks and owls are friends of man. Notice that the feet of these birds of prey have strong, sharp claws. These birds are usually found in and around forests or grasslands where they can find small animals to eat. Have you ever looked at the bill of a chicken? Watch this chicken pecking at the corn on the ground. The upper part of her bill is high and curved, wonderfully fitted for picking up grain or insects. She has large feet with strong, short claws, which she uses to scratch at the ground to uncover food. Among her close relatives are the quail, a bird frequently hunted for food, and the turkey king of the Christmas Day dinner table. Birds like the chicken and her relatives spend most of their time on the ground, walking about in search of food. Would you expect to find a chicken among the rocks along the seashore? Geese, swans and ducks have broad flat bills which they use rather like a sieve. The duck scoops up his food from the surface of the water or the muddy bottom of a shallow pond or stream. He lets the water and mud strain out of his mouth, holding back whatever food he has gathered in. He also uses his flat bill for picking up food from the ground. Notice that the duck's feet are webbed. He can walk about on land but he's most at home upon the water from the time he's just a little duckling. Notice how he uses his feet.
Where would you expect to find a bird with such a bill? A short, thick bill is the kind you see on a goldfinch, a canary, and a few other small birds. This kind of bill is well fitted for cracking seeds. As you would expect, the birds who have such bills eat a great many seeds, thus helping the farmer in his fight against weeds. Many of them eat insects and fruit as well. Their feet are rather small and weak, and they use them mainly for perching on the branches of trees and bushes. Stout-billed birds are usually found wherever there are plants with seeds. Would you look for them on a lake or pond? The godwit has a long, blunt bill. He pokes his bill into the sand, searching for the small seashore animals he eats. Notice his long legs as he walks over the sand. His relative, the willet, has a long bill too, which he uses in the same way. Would you expect these birds to have the hooked bill of a hawk or eagle, or the broad, flat bill of the duck? There are still other kinds of bills, some of them very surprising. This strange animal is the toucan a bird native to Central and South America. His bill is made of light, honeycomb substance. The toucan is a jungle bird, living chiefly on fruits and seeds. Here is the pelican. His great bill, with its pouch, is used as a net to catch the fish he eats. The bill of a large pelican, like this one, will hold over three gallons of water. But wonderful as the pelican's bill is, it forces him to live near water. A pelican wouldn't last very long in the desert. All birds have feathers, but they differ in many other ways. Some are migratory, traveling from one place to another as the seasons change. Others are resident, never going far from the place where they were born. Some have almost no wings at all. Others have small wings which they use as paddles. Some are strong flyers with large, powerful wings. Some have sharp, taloned claws to grasp their prey. Some have feet webbed for swimming. And some have weak feet, good only for perching. Birds differ too in the shape of their bills. The hooked bill of the hawk is suited to tearing his prey. The high curved bill of the chicken is well fitted for picking food off the ground. The duck's bill, broad and flat, permits him to scoop up his food from the surface of the water or to sift it from the mud. The short, thick bill of the canary helps him to crack seeds. The willet's long bill enables him to probe into soft sand for small seashore animals. Each kind of bill serves a different purpose and tells you a great deal about its owner's life and habits. <laughs>